Hi friends, here is a nice problem to solve. We are given x square by y plus y square by x equals 12 and 1 by x plus 1 by y equals 1 by 3. Right, if you do the cross multiplication, what do you get? x cube plus y cube equals 12xy. Similarly, x plus y equals, sorry, 3 times x plus y equals xy. If, if you do the cross multiplication, both system of equations will be the same. Right. Now we have x cube plus y cube equals 12xy. Right. x cube plus y cube equals 12xy. And x plus y times xy. 3 times x plus y equals xy. 3 times x plus y equals xy. These are the two system of equations. We have cubes and uh, we have x plus y's and we have xy. Let's figure out a way where we can reduce these cubes in the form of x plus y. Instead of x cube plus y cube, if we have something of the form of x plus y to the power of something, then that would be a little easier. Right? How do we do this? We know x cube plus y cube equals x plus y times x square minus x y plus y square. This is a regular form that we know. Right? A plus b cube, a cube plus b cube equals a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square. Right? We know this. Right, reducing the cubes, factories are reducing these cubes into a square and uh, x plus y. Right, now this x square minus x y plus y square, this we can here to this term, we can add plus 2xy and subtract minus and subtract 2xy. Right, like this, we add 1 plus 2xy and subtract the same 2xy so that we don't disturb anything. Why are we doing this? Because we want to convert this into x plus y whole square. Right. We want to convert this equation to in terms of x plus y something, x plus y power something and x y. Right. So this has become x plus y times x plus y whole square minus 3 x y. Right. That is x y and minus 2 x will become minus 3 x y. This all will be equal to 12 x y. Right. Because this x y will go this side equals 12 x y. Similarly, the second equation becomes x plus y times 3 equals x y. Right. We have first equation and second equation simplified like this. Now, let us just assume x plus y equals u. Right. This is just for simplification purpose because it does not look lengthy. The equations will not look lengthy. That is why we are just replacing x plus y with u. What does that mean? u times u square minus 3 x y equals 12 x y. Right, equals 12 xy. But what is xy from the second equation? xy is 3 times x. xy is 3 times x plus y. Right, what does that mean? xy equals 3 times 3u. xy equals again 3u. So x plus y, which is u, u times u square minus 3 times 3u becomes 9u. u times u square minus 3 times 3u equals 9u equals. 12 xy. What is xy? xy is again 3u. Right? xy is 3u. Because x plus y is u. xy is 3u. 12 into 3u, 36u. Right? We have converted everything into u. What is u? Who is x plus y only. Now, here, let us just expand this. We can cancel this u. And, and we should remember that while cancelling, u is not equal to 0. But if u becomes 0, Right, u becomes 0, then x plus x y becomes 0, then which is not possible because x y is a denominator. Right, if u becomes 0, that is x plus y becomes 0, x y will become 0, but x y is a denominator which is not possible. Right. So, now let us just uh, expand the remaining one with cancel u and then u square minus 9 u minus 36 equals 0. We can expand this as u square minus 12 u plus 3 minus 36 equals 0. We can further simplify this. Then u minus 12 into u plus 3. This one becomes u minus 12 times u plus 3. What does that mean? u is either equal or minus 3. What is u? u is our version of x plus y. So x plus y can be 12 or x plus y can be minus 3. But what is xy? xy is already xy is already 3 times x plus y. Right. If x plus y is 12, then obviously xy is 36. If x plus y is minus 3, then xy should be minus 9. So, now we know x plus y, we also know x y. Then it is a cakewalk for us, right? Calculate what is x minus y. 
What is x minus y? x minus y whole square equals x plus y whole square minus 4 x square. Right? We know this. Right? So, x minus y whole square becomes x plus y whole square, which becomes in this case 9, 9 minus 4 x square. So, 9, 4 times 9 is 36 minus 4 into minus 9, which becomes plus 36. So, in this case, x plus y, x minus y square becomes 45. Right? In this case, in the first case, in the first case, x plus y is 12 and x y is 36. Right? Here, we don't even need to calculate what is x minus y because just by looking at this, x, x y is 36, that means both x and y are positive. Right? Or both should be either positive or both should be, both should be negative together. But both cannot be negative together because x plus y is actually 1. Right? So, both should be come. Both should be positive together, right? Now, twelve when broken, uh, broken into x and y. For example, ten and two, the product is twenty. Eight and four, product is twenty-four. When both are equal only, the product will be maximum in this case. So that's why x equals y equals six. We can do the lengthy way also, but just by looking at the equations, we can directly say that x plus y is twelve, x y is thirty-six means x equals y equals six. So, this is about the first set of equations. First set of equations, we are getting this solution. x equals y equals 6. Now, we have the second set of equations. So x plus y equals minus 3, x y equals minus 9. Here, we can calculate what is x minus y. We are getting x minus y square. We are getting 45. That means x minus y is under root 45, which is nothing but under root 9 into 5, which is nothing but under root uh, plus or minus plus or minus 3 root 5. Right? Under root plus or minus 45 becomes under root plus or minus plus or minus 3 root 5. Right? That is our x minus y. Now, x plus y is minus 3. So, we have this one equation we have to solve with 1 plus 3 root 5 and another minus 3 root 5. Right? So, let us solve 1 by 1 more. x plus y equals minus 3 and x minus y equals 3 root 5. This is the first set of equations. Similar x plus y equal to minus 3 and x minus y equals minus 3 root 5. This is the second set of equations. We have two sets here. Right. If I solve this, 2x becomes in this set, uh, x becomes 3 root 5 minus 3 by 2. Right. Similarly, what will y become? y is x minus 3 root 5. We are taking the second equation, x minus 3 root 5. So, what is x? 3 root 5 minus 3 by 2 minus 3 root 5. We get y as minus 3 root 5 minus 3 whole by 2. This is one solution, right? When x is, when x is, and when x plus y is minus 3 and x minus y is 3 root 5. This is the first set of solution, right? x equals 3 root 5 minus 3. This is one solution. Similarly, when x plus y is minus 3, x plus y is anyway minus 3, right? And x minus y is minus 3 root 5. Here we have two solutions, right? If we take the second one, then 2x becomes minus 3 minus 3 root 5 by 2. And y becomes x plus 3 root 5 from the second equation, right? Which becomes this plus 3 root 5, which becomes 3 root 5 minus 3, right? So x is minus 3 root 5 minus 3 and uh, y is 3 root 5 minus 3. Right. So, basically we have set of three solutions. One, when, I, when x, this is the first set of solution. Right. When x plus y equals 12 and x y is 36. Then the second solution is, here we have only one solution. But in the second case, when x plus y equals minus 3 and x y equals minus 9, we are getting two solutions. Right. Because x minus y can become plus or minus root 45. Right. Here this is given two solutions. Here this is given only one solution. So, total we have three solutions for this problem. Right? Yes. Hope you like this. Thank you.